What changes are we likely to see in mobility in 2026? Now, in 2025, EVs became the norm. A Chinese EV beat a Bugatti, uh, set a new record. Uh, we got a train that ran on batteries. F-tolls took to the air. But the most impressive is, in fact, neither a car nor a motorcycle. It's a robot that looks like a lion, moves like a horse, made by Kawasaki. It's astonishing. You have to see it to believe it. It walks, it runs, it jumps, and you can ride it as well. This is no ordinary robot. It looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. This is Corleo, a ride-on robotic horse. Powered by a 1500cc engine, Corleo has been developed by Kawasaki Heavy Industries and runs on hydrogen. The company claims the robotic horse could become a reality by 2050. For what you're seeing now is a concept model, but we've been taking the design process seriously and have secured eight technology patents. We hope to continue research and development while incorporating feedback from everyone towards 2050. Currently, a prototype, the four-legged bionic robot, uses AI and clean energy technologies to navigate diverse terrains. Thanks to its four independent legs, Corleo is expected to move steadily and stay balanced across various terrains, with each leg adapting individually to uneven surfaces. Moreover, the robot's legs are equipped with rubber hooves, allowing Corleo to grip various surfaces and adapt to diverse terrains like grasslands, rocky areas and rubble fields. Kawasaki says riders can easily control Corleo through weight shifts located conveniently on the robot's footrest and handlebar. Moreover, the company claims riding the robot will offer a familiar feeling, like that of riding a motorcycle, a horse or a Segway. The rider can monitor key metrics on Corleo's instrument panel, such as hydrogen levels, the planned route to the summit and the robot's center of gravity position. Meanwhile, for nighttime riding, the robot projects path-indicating markers onto the ground to improve rider visibility. A rideable robotic horse powered by hydrogen. It's a concept today, but could be our reality tomorrow. One thing is certain, the future of vehicles just got a whole lot more wild. In Vilnius, the river is back at the heart of the city, and this time, it's electric. The Lithuanian capital has become the first in Europe to weave fully electric ferries into its public transport network, not for tourists, but for commuters ordinary people heading to work by water. These sleek silent boats glide down the Neris River, passing medieval bridges and modern glass towers alike. The technology is seamless. Batteries recharged at shore, digital tickets booked on the same app that gets you a tram, and for every kilometer they travel, they emit less than half the carbon of a diesel bus. For Vilnius, Europe's green capital of 2025, that's more than a statistic, it's a statement. A city turning back to its river and floating toward a cleaner future. In Dubai, Xpeng has unveiled its land aircraft carrier, a machine that looks like a giant drone but drives like an SUV. This two-seater electric flying car comes with its own six-wheel mothership, an off-road vehicle that carries, charges and deploys the EV toll when it is time to take to the skies. The idea is simple. Drive out of the city, unlock the flying module and lift off. No runways, no traffic, just a joystick and a view.
our product actually particularly safe or very safe. Um, uh, by the time it goes to the market, gets to the consumer, it will go through a rigorous certification process. And actually during our R&D process, we have made 200 of this and conducted more than 5,000 uh, safety testing flights uh, in extreme heat, high altitude, extreme cold, uh, moisture area. So it actually can handle all the situations. It could be one of the first flying cars to hit the market by 2027. Railways too are becoming a testing ground for innovation. In the United Kingdom, that innovation has set a new world record for the longest distance travelled by a battery-powered train on a single charge. We've broken uh, the record for the longest distance travelled on a single charge by a battery train. We've done just over 200 miles uh, and that's broken the record by quite some distance overnight. Uh, it's an important achievement uh, for the UK rail industry to be able to do that uh, because it demonstrates the viability of battery technology to power trains in the future. The train is equipped with six high capacity battery packs and runs at an average speed of 35 to 38 miles per hour. Even at the end of its epic journey, the train's battery still held more than 22% of its charge, which was just enough to cover another 60 miles if needed. To push the train to its record-breaking 200-mile target, engineers had to conserve every single electron. Non-essential systems were cut back, ensuring maximum power was reserved for traction. This record-breaking run isn't just a milestone in distance, it's a turning point for the entire rail industry. On the road, electric vehicles don't just cut emissions, they can break speed records too. There's a new name at the very top of the production car speed charts. Yang Wang, the luxury sub-brand of Chinese automaker BYD, has set a new global benchmark, hitting a top speed of 496.22 km per hour at the ATP test track in Germany. The mind-boggling feat was achieved with the all-electric Yang Wang U9 Extreme Hypercar, piloted by German racer and multiple lap record holder Mark Basseng. It's worth noting that this is a benchmark, not yet an official world record. But still, the achievement is too significant to overlook. It's another reminder of just how far and how fast modern-day EVs are pushing the limits of performance.